Civilian forces have stepped up their attacks across Myanmar just hours after ousted lawmakers declared a people's war against the military. Yong Wai Kit looks at the uncertain road ahead for both the army and civilian forces. One, two, three. This is one of 11 telecommunication facilities targeted by civilian forces in Sagain, central Myanmar. Mytel, which is owned by the military, has become a fast target of the People's Defence Force. That's in line with the ousted lawmakers' call to arms, target the military and its assets. Soon after the so-called National Unity Government called for a nationwide revolt against the army, the streets were filled with these. Though the army immediately dismissed NUG's declaration, it's not taking any chances. Already, security forces are arresting more suspects before they can strike on military targets and assets. Experts say more raids and checks will be made across the country in the coming days. But the announcement of the People's War has emboldened protesters, many openly voicing their support for ousted lawmakers. More civilian resistance groups, as well as student unions, are also publicly pledging their loyalty to the NUG. This is kind of like already the last resort because um, the, the peaceful protests um, have, uh, have, uh, have not uh, brought about the results that uh, they had hoped for. Parts of the country were rocked by violence in the last two months. From bombings in big cities like Yangon and Mandalay, to armed with mixed feelings about their days ahead. This coup has uh, brought so much loss of hopes to the people of Myanmar. And this announcement has put some sort of glimmer of hopes. To be seen how things will unfold in the near future, experts tell me they don't expect a significant rise in violence anytime soon. One of them says the NUG's latest call to arms is seen as a political move. Another security observer says tensions won't boil over anytime soon. Though citizens may continue to target military assets, he believes the country will not see full-scale clashes for now. His basis for that? Civilian forces do not have access to guns and weapons at the moment, and the NUG's chain of command over the respective civilian forces remains.